गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस आराधना तिवारी फ्रॉम बी द चेंज बाय आराधना हेलो हेलो वेटिंग फॉर यू ऑल टू बी हियर एंड टॉक अबाउट टुडे क्वेश्चन हाय सचिन होप यू हैड योर हेयर कट हे उमेश हाउ आर यू awesome awesome good good morning guys thank you i think you the first two guys who always here right <laughs> extra handsome now what is extra sachin all right so umesh all lovely so umesh you've been really kind and so have you been sachin thank you so much so yeah today is what is in you are you calling rebel or wrongness is it true that it is a rebel or a wrongness awesome hey shivangi yeah thank you i love it all of you are giving me that question thank you thank you so what in you are you calling a rebel or a wrongness is it true that it's a rebel or a wrongness play so guys tell me i also copied that page thank you oh god all right today i'll keep reading the question because everybody of you is posting so what in you is you are you calling a rebel or a wrongness truth is it true that it's a rebel or a wrongness Hey Janvi, how are you? Good to see you. So, what is rebel and what is wrongness? You know, it's amazing that this thing has been opening up in my world. According to me, rebel was always wrong, and I have I had been a rebel, which I had been acknowledging that I had been a rebel. Hey Simran, how are you? So, but all through, I have been trying to tame down my rebel quality in me. The potency of a rebel in me all and i think especially last 25 years i have been doing that with myself hey mona so because what i got this last evening was that i have defined rebel as a wrongness and rebel is a is like a big no no in this reality in this society and uh, which is like you fighting against and you're not listening to anybody hey swati welcome so are you been doing that and then um you know i was just talking to my family and i was talking to somebody in my family and that person just said to me that this is why wh- wh- i mean this is something has changed and shifted and i'm like what has changed and shifted in me and they were like because uh, there was a um, uh, our magic journal exercise of asking the magic you be from others so i was asking to uh, tell my family about me so i was like and that's when this showed up and that person said that but you know that was your quality the rebel in you i'm like quality in me i mean you mean a rebel can be a quality in you and i'm still like kind of always taming myself down and i'm like what does that look like in your world like shivangi says not conforming to norms i've always been a rebel dark horse of my family <laughs> yeah so so did i think so and uh, and but i had a contrary uh, uh, thing said by my family member and the person said to me that you know that was the thing in you which actually used to really uh, give us so much of a courage because you were not scared of anything you would do anything and be anything and you won't have a point of view and you will just keep running i mean like even if you don't have to slap anybody you slap and move and you don't bother that anybody is going to be crying or what the other person is going to do but now what you started doing after that was that you started judging you and you starting being the that rebel to your own self i was like wow that was an aha moment for me yesterday like seriously you mean i'm allowed to be rebel and it's like it's since yesterday i'm in such a awe of it that wow sometimes your wrongness which and you know i've been always asking what is such a wrongness in me that i don't see because i've been hearing these words for a long that what if the wrongness in you is the strongness in you so it was like wow and and i don't know such and like you say okay okay now i get what it is being a rebel but that was also the perspective of one of my family member to see me as maybe the other family members have a different perspective of it looking i wondered who i picked up from but what if you don't have to pick it from anybody and actually start asking what have you defined that wrongness as and what have you defined rebel as as i always say is who's right who's wrong who's rebel is it is it your rebel is it somebody else or have you picked up any definition and limitation of others as yours 
because this is like a long period guys like 25 years is a long long period for me to kind of acknowledge back to what who I was what I was and how I've been holding a meaning of one word called rebel and today just changes my world totally so what that one word are you been holding as and for and against you and everything that is can we let go please hey deepthi hey devika so i am so look into your words just look deep and you know something that you have been and it's funny that how it just showed up that how i was actually still somewhere you know all the time pulling it down pulling myself down with and didn't even acknowledge that i had this point of view of that i'm a rebel but today it's like suddenly there's a change in my whole um, you know perspective of looking at it that i'm actually proud of it and that is what we are trying to trying to become but what if and as uh, yesterday when i said in the money book book i had a amazing this awareness which i read it to you guys also was um, which you do not have in you you cannot have at all so i think i posted on the thing also which you do not have in you you cannot have at all so if i do not have it in me how can i see it and if people are seeing in me i'm sure they have it in them too so every way you're just judging yourself for nothing could you let go and could you really are you willing to today embrace your wrongnesses embrace your rebel and start wondering what gift is that rather than taking it as a wrongness and how can you have fun with that bagul namrata join hello i really do don't, don't get your name but namrata is the one i'm picking up so hello awesome so any questions coming up so anybody wants to say anything around it that may you have been that's my journey to rebel and the wrongnesses and so and this is a list i am in making that what am i unwilling to be so guys what are you guys and un- unwilling to be can you make a list of your stuff in your world and um uh, what what since your childhood until now you have been making it so wrong about you what was people said and that the reaction came from your end what everybody said to you you're naughty you're ugly you're fat you're not pretty or you're um, rebel or you don't listen to your parents you're stubborn so can you make a list for yourself and actually start asking and see in yourself what does that look and what gift is that in you so wonder if that really really open something for you if you cannot be you cannot have yes if you cannot be you cannot have totally that is such a aha moment in our worlds like it's been said so many times but you get it when you get it so it's like uh, how can i see it in outside of me also so i am everything and anything so what if that is a gift and what if everything in around your life is a gift i remember remember my granddad always used to say everything is a gift and i am like how everything is a gift but that is how it has been taught when we have been grown up that see uh, niceness and the kindness and see the gift in everything but we are not willing because we have bought this true and real that this is wrong but who's wrong are you picking and who's wrong are you making your wrong that if you actually let go to they will change your world you want me to explain that sachin is saying that umesh is asking you to explain a bit more on that et is it sachin asking is it umesh asking any which way so it's like which you do not have in you you cannot have at all so whatever you see in outside you if you perceive any energy about it even like if you say um you know um, say uh this loyalty say um you see somebody being uh, cheating on to somebody so i'm sure you've done that and been there and you see it in you that is when you can see outside you and if you see a goodness in or kindness in somebody definitely you have it in you or oh, you are asking i like that sachin that sachin knows so much about you or umesh that how synchronicity about you both that he i didn't get it wow that is amazing great sachin you doing great job awesome hi kavita kevit model who ever joined in hello awesome thank you for joining in yeah so hope it gets you clarity so unless, it's like how we say no we cannot judge others when unless you're judging yourself so it's the same energy here that you cannot have unless you do not have it in you you cannot have outside in you so it's the same energy that shows up i embrace my body face just it is that's the gift you 
could see unique and different beauty which others sometimes may not be able to perceive yeah so we have to embrace amazing um, that's bagul oh sorry namrata so uh, it's just not face when you're putting so much of energy on the face um, namrata i'm sure you have a judgment there somewhere <laughs> that's what i'm perceiving right now you know how my mind is working i am in psychic capacities so when we are so very particular about certain body part we definitely we are holding a judgment there so are you truly embracing it namrata or are you actually uh, faking yourself that you are embracing it so everything that is let go so start lo- what you know when we put any attention to anything that means we are not an allowance of it if you are putting our attention to anything that means there is an energy that means it requires to be seen if you do not have a point of view we will not talk about it only if i talk about something about me definitely i have a point of view there somewhere umesh did you get the clarity on that or do you want more, me to say more around it just say yes or no and namrata hope you got it so all the judgments you have around the face around your body would you what if that is not the wrongness what can you receive and perceive about your body see there you go maybe about some part of my face dark circles it's see for me it's just the energy that shows up that's what i catch so it's maybe or is it and when you see it then receive it and then like okay are you willing to have your big dark circles and are you willing to be with your uh, dark circles and as it is what you are so yeah namrata says yeah just got it awesome and then that's when once you ik- see when you have it and when you see it and when you receive it then you actually once you acknowledge it that okay i have a point of view that's when you can actually go there and change it and uh, ask questions because unless you're not willing to see you will keep getting under the layers and you will never be able to change it so now when namrata seen that that uh, hope your name is namrata itself so um it's like if you're not willing to see as that now once you've seen that namrata now you will work on it now like oh wow that's so every time i'm holding it and now i can change it and what is it and what can i and to change it you just have to ask what is this body what are you telling me what awareness is this uh, eye bags or what awareness is this dark circle the and what judgments am i holding namrata is not very comfortable yeah awesome hello pile how are you welcome 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 yeah so when we are not comfortable whose point of view is that where did you buy that you know face should not be this that rather than there is something that you are unwilling to see and there is something that you are you know you have you have a point of view that you bought from somebody as a wrongness in you and what strength and what gift is that in you and only when you start looking it as a gift and asking it it starts changing Thank you for your lovely heart pile. Any other questions guys? Anything else I can contribute to this question? So hope everything everybody is clear with the wrongnesses and from what if there is no wrongness. What every wrongness of yours is a gift. What if being a rebel is not wrong? What if being a nasty is not wrong? What if being naughty is not wrong? What if is being flirted is not wrong? What if being um you know everything your parents said that you were not good boy and um what if your cheating is not wrong too what if that cheating can be with your where because you know what happens is when you're seeing the cheating outside you somewhere you're definitely cheating in within yourself just saying that if you see seeing cheating outside you you are somewhere cheating you no nothing comes in your world unless you do not ask it you first conceive it then you create it and then you perceive it you are the sole creator you are the soul everything of it so you conceive it then you create it then you perceive it and then you think that it happened to you so what if nothing ever happens to you cool guys awesome what else is possible anything else can i contribute guys any other questions we see outside what we are right such in ya 
yeah, we see outside what we are right. Yeah, so what is that rightness we are holding? What if it's not right and wrong? And actually, you're so true. That's so true, Sachin, that we always see things as right. We are somewhere always proving the rightness of it. So it's like um, I have to be right for everything. And whatever I have created is right. And, you know, it's also not wrong that you acknowledge that, the rightness of it. And just acknowledge that, okay, I'm looking to the rightness of it. So, you know, today, this morning, I was talking about this, right, how we get into the needs. And, hey, Dhruv, how are you? Good to see you here. So, it's like, um, I was talking about the needs and the want. And, you know, people who are not from Axis, in Axis, we have these words that we say we should not be using, need and want. So, I was like, what if we be actually brutally honest to ourselves that, okay, I need money or I want money, I need this thing. Only when we see that we need something and then the needs are always a lie, a want is always a lack. So, okay, this is a lie which will never get fulfilled. And then staying into that need forever is fine until you want to change it. And if like, oh, I'm actually holding this as a need and truth, do I truly, truly need it? So unless you're not willing to see it as what it is and hiding it away from you, then probably you never get to the awareness of it. So just figure out a list today in your world. What is the wrongness is like that you're holding as a wrongness and what if you are being rebel is not wrong or right. It just is. And what gift is that in being rebel? So, um, you know, and I totally get when Dhruv is here right now. Uh, so, Dhruv, how much of the rebel in you is a gift in you? So, guys, I know him. He's my son, so I could just talk about that. So, how much do you know that the rebel in you is a gift in you? Awesome. Umesh says that brings a lot of awareness. Thank you, Umesh. Any other questions, guys? So, today, do make a list of your wrongnesses, your rebels, your everything you've been from your childhood which you have perceived and uh, received as a wrongness and see what gift lies underneath that awesome namrata hope you get over your face complex and hope you start enjoying your body and your face and have no point of view and that was an amazing awareness for others too that when we start looking into any particular body part we are actually paying attention there Many, Umesh says, many things I was resistant, ca resisting, can't even trying to look at it. Yeah, so list them down, pen down now. You know, people, we only think in the heads. What we actually sit down and pen them down, it really helps and it just makes a lot of change in our lives. So if you will pen down, I, I always said that I don't have anything to write. But once I sit down, then I can go on pages and pages and pages. And that's when actually the true self starts flowing out. So, if that really works for you, I'm just giving you tools, it's up to you, you want to use it, go pen it down today and write down what are the things you're resisting. It's okay, you're just writing them down, you're not actually uh, embracing them, it's your choice that you want to embrace them or not, but pen them down today and see and just, oh, and then watch it from, because guys, nobody has time for you, you only have time for yourself and we think that people are watching us, nobody has the time to watch us and see us or judge us it's only we are ourselves judging ourselves cool awesome have fun have a beautiful day it's a sexy day in delhi it's raining and what fun can you have here further see you tomorrow guys yep awesome sachin and sachin is very good at writing the journals awesome bye bye how to embrace dear okay namrita the embracing is um just an allowance of you of being that rude, being that rebel, which you think people judged you as. So for me, it was like, I would not bother about anybody else. If I have to choose something, I will choose it irrespective. And I would not bother that anybody is crying behind or anybody is complaining about that. And I will just go and choose and keep going. That is what I said. And that was true embracing, but not then judging myself. Oh, did I hurt somebody else or not? Them? This is me who I be. This is my face, how it looks like. This is my body, which it looks like. I love it. And come whatsoever, even if I beat it today, my body shape and my body uh, form is not going to change. This is mine. And how can I make the most of it? I embrace me as who I be. 
I can tie up my hair one day, I can be the most ugliest hair looking on the screen and sometimes I will be to totally into makeup and I might look the most the prettiest around. Everybody, I am happy to be me, whoever I be. Are you willing to enjoy and embrace your sectionness of everything and, and your habits, your uh, behaviors, what nothing about you is wrong? What if no, none of your behavior is wrong or right and your face is right or wrong, you, have, you know, you have bad eye bags, you have dark circles. If anybody has to enjoy me, love me, be with me, be with. If I love myself, do I really bother that somebody loves me or not loves me? And and if somebody is actually loving for me to look good or to be having no um, bags or stuff, then how long would they love? So the day bags would come back or the dark circles would go, they will not, they will stop loving me. Is that so? So if you are judging yourself, then how will others not judge you? So embrace yourself. Hope you got it. Awesome. All right. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Hey, Sunena. See you tomorrow. Today, I have done my day. If any the questions, do leave them here. I will take them tomorrow. All right. It's too amazing. Awesome, Amish. Thanks, thanks, guys, guys.